okay hello students now uh, we have seen uh, how we can bring out whole uh, data from the table now as i promised uh, to you that i will show you like how you can bring one particular entity from the table so for this what is important is you need to understand uh, that for bringing an entity from bringing a particular table a particular uh, record from the table you need to work with the primary key so here my roll number is the primary key and i am going to pass this roll number that is 2002 to my web page right um, my web page by web page i mean i am going to pass 2002 to my jsp page and jsp page should handle that 2002 uh, value and uh, it will bring out the data from the table so now in order to do this we need to um, uh, uh, recall uh, the concept of how we have passed value from one page to another page and passing the um, uh, passing a value from one page to another page requires anchor tag. Uh, so the tag uh, tag that you are going to use is anchor A, then href, uh, then you are going to write uh, dot slash the uh, JSP page dot JSP colon, uh, question mark and the value. Now look at here. Uh, see you have selected this page. So uh, the, the time you click on update it will bring out some information to you so i have already coded this information and and you have seen the demonstration in couple of in last previous videos now here interesting thing that i wanted to tell you is that this s dot roll number you have passed so we have to modify our query in such a way that we will bring out only 2002 record so select query is being modified previous select query was select star from student now this time the query is select star from student where s role which is nothing but the attribute is equals to the past value of s role so this is what we are going to do it here now in order to prepare this this kind of structure in order to prepare passing a value to a page we need to use this uh, we need to understand how i have passed value to the uh, link so look at this Let, let's go with this my database uh, page so this is what is my database page and uh, this code we have already discussed but interestingly which you need to see is this that here now look at here here what you have done is you have used anchor tag that is ahref this is the page which is bringing out my data okay now in order to bring bring out the data you need to pass a value primary key value and primary key is roll number we know we understand that s roll number is the roll number and we know that the attribute first column attribute which is the roll number uh, that we are going to pass so the h r e f equals to u data dot view dot gsp question mark Roll number. It's not a case that you can pass only a single value to a page. You can pass any value, any number of values onto the URL uh, as per your requirement. So this can be done. So S roll will hold the value of um, first attribute, and that is nothing but the roll number. So uh, whenever the loop uh, while loop get executed, it starts reading the first record value. So when the record value is one, uh, here uh, S roll will contain a first value, it is two, then roll number two, three, four, five, six. Similarly, in that accordance, in that accordance, when, uh, when you have this last record, uh, then this update will have, uh, look at this, when we collect, select this update, look at this, this link will have, this 2002 now if you go on this now look at here now you have selected which record see 1005 hmm? Baskar Baskar Sartes record so if you look at this Baskar Sartes record so look at this you will see 105 so 105 is also going to be here right so this is important that the value is being passed so the way loop execute it goes on doing it 
from. Now look at how this is being handled. So you data view will handle this. Now see this the time it handles. We have already in last video we have seen the uh, seen this uh, script this particular statements now. But the interesting statement is here. So this page also this page u data view dot this jsp dot page will also take a java dot sql as a uh, import library this will take this library now here what is going to happen see here the url value is uh, being read here that is request dot get parameter now s role is the parameter which is passed to the page which is being um, which is being uh, used here, which is being used here uh, using a request or request object request dot get parameter. We take this role number value into S role and then we go up here. Now look at the query which we have that select start from student where row S role is equals to the value which is being passed and where you have stored this value, you stored this value, right? And which is which is being passed on url so the value is stored into s role which is being used here then the query representation will change query will be select star from student where value where s role is equals to s role and result set uh, result set will hold that row only so in order to read that values we have used here it is like this we have created two temporary variable s name and s age so it results the record set now record set is the result set is here we have while loop which reads the result set uh, till the end so and since we know that we have used only one record so while loop executes only one number of time so roll number uh, s name is equals to rs dot get string now what is two two is nothing but the second column and three is nothing but the third column and we know that it has only three then uh, see uh, uh, the name is containing say Praveen space Yannavar now when it comes to a spacing mechanism what is going to happen is that uh, you have to it gets us uh, uh, divided so in order to uh, get a complete information we have replaced a blank space with the uh, underscore value which we are going to anyway get modified so we'll represent it in a proper fashion so this is how you bring up uh, a one particular record into this so let us summarize this the time you have this if you want wish to have a selected a uh, one particular record you can do that this is the way you can do that the update right uh, use anchor tag to read it pass this value to uh, uh, the page and you can do that similarly uh, similarly if you wish i can show you this like this is how also you can do so once you go with this at the summarized state you can see that you have passed href the value then this the parameter argument value this s role value you have uh, stored into a, a page uh, stored into a variable uh, called s role here and being used further now in my next video i'm going to now once you read a particular data i will show you how you are going to update it so don't forget to watch my next video where i am going to tell giving you the details of update query now by this you understand that how to read the whole table at once as well as how to read one particular record at once. So in next, I'm going to show you the update.